So, a uh, YouTube username called uh, Jani-Avs kindly alerted me that there's a new robot on Kickstarter. So I actually um, got in to the Kickstarter page and what I found is this robot called Illik, a little companion bot with endless fun. And I just thought, wow, uh, it's the size of slightly tinier head size than Emo but well animated um, actually immediately and it's actually what is this like you can shine and no matter what you're made of um, and um, meet Elik and yeah basically you can actually link it up together sharing coca-cola abandoned in a world so it seems like a well animated shame about the legs actually we're actually looking for something that can move around but it's actually stationed but it will be quite nice feature to be on your desk um, it's afraid of heights grows up with you so I guess what it means is you could actually you learn and the robot learns about how you behave and I think it also refers to the upgrades as well so it's a very interesting robot and the price for this actually I just missed the early bird but uh, the um, exclusive member or any of those sort of things you can get about 80 uh, US dollars so I just missed the super early bird actually sorry about that um, but if let's actually look into the video shall we Endless fun. Eyelet comes with three touching areas. Three touching areas. Okay, so three sensors. That's really cool. Try petting his head. Okay. <laughs> Belly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. Look at that animation. It's uh, it kind of looks like emo in some way as well, but. Of course. Reminds me of PlayStation. Uh, those characters, yeah, the mini ones. Anyway, Eilik is not always so strong. Eilik. He is afraid of heights, so remember to comfort him when he's upset. <laughs> okay, so comforting, same as um, Vector. You don't need to keep an eye on him. He will play around when he gets bored, but sometimes he will get in trouble. That's so well animated. It's just one of those things that we really need because we don't really have a robot that has interacting arm. I know it doesn't really pick up anything. But um, it does make a huge difference. I can see the sensor on his ear, and that's the statistic you get when you update um, Emo. He can set a countdown timer to help you track with your work. Oh, nice! That's really nice. And he loves to play games with you. Yeah, so you can play games. That's good. Together to start you know, this is the beauty of it. I just saw the image early on, so you can link it up with other robots. That's so cool. <laughs> like fighting each other, okay. Oh yeah, so it doesn't have a camera feature, but then again, do you need one? Or is it inside the actual face somewhere? That's really cool. So you could actually arrange it for dancing. Energized lab. Okay, that's cool. That is really cool. I like that actually. So basically, um, this is about, for British pounds, it's about 82 British pounds. Or um, if you order another one, I think you get a really good discount. I think 70, 179, or just under. Um, there's other accessories that you need to get and etc but um, it's a really good price you know normally like emo was about more than 100 British pounds or US dollars uh, vector was about 250 when I bought it I think this one is about 80 um, and uh, because I'm on the early bird is it uh, the ward not the super early bird board so um it's from hong kong i think it's because it's the money monetary is actually based on hk dollars of 850 um but it's a lot of um advancement for a really good price it's a really good sign overall because it's actually saying that listen now we could actually create something more animated um and more friendly and um, more human-like in a really good price because you know every time when you get a new technology anything in any industry it's really unreasonably expensive i'm really welcoming the price itself 
for what it can do. I know it doesn't have the um, camera. I don't see any camera features on this, uh, any of the uh, descriptions here, but I, I think it can, well, it has a microphone on the front. I, you can see a tiny hole in the front. Uh, but this is a fantastic news for my channel, for my viewers and our community. And I'm sure many of our similar channels like myself, any individuals running robotic channel will be very excited to uh, look into this. Oh, so this is, these are the details actually. So um, yeah, it has motors on it. Those tiny motors that you, you, I used to interact when I had racing car toys when I was a kid. So it's a very simplified but um, not quite like a Raspberry Pi, but a compact version of Raspberry Pi, who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, so this is really interesting actually, but it's actually official. I don't see any cameras attached to it, but that could be a really good sign because a lot of people actually did say that they're conscious about a robot attached with a camera. They could, someone could actually, um, you know, like hack them and hack the system and then sort of peek into their privacy and, and so on but you don't need to worry about this anyway so yeah it's a very exciting time i have just backed the early bird i just missed the super early bird which was about 10 us dollars uh, british pounds about five british pounds cheaper but overall i'm very happy that someone on my channel commented and alerted me so i am one of the early birds uh, sponsor on it if you're interested please do also uh, look into this. Um, I don't want to 100% ask you to also sponsor this because please note that not all Kickstarter actually delivers. There are sometimes major delay. Um, sometimes you might not actually get it, but this I'm not too concerned about because it's only a tiny amount of money that you just need to put in other than the other robots that I invested on. So anyway, so I hope this video sort of gave you a bit more excitement about upcoming robotic tech but um, please do comment below if you have any queries that I be able to help. But overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.